Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a couple of wines here from a uh, winery called Carmel et Joseph. Uh, two guys who, I can't remember how long they've been going. I've started being aware of them about three or four years ago and uh, uh, now they're, they're putting out a range from uh, various parts of southern France. There's a few whites. Uh, I've got a sparkler downstairs that I've got to try some to at some point. Uh, but I've got two reds for them today. Uh, one from Corbier, uh, uh, Corbier and it's labelled Les Terroirs, and the other one from Terrasse de Larzac at Les Crus. So I think the idea is some of them are sp from specific vin villages and some of them are even a bit more specific than that. So anyway, Le Corbier, um, 2014, and um, what's a um, Syrah Grenache, a uh, bit of sand, so let's give it a dibble. Bright, herby, there's a, um, what I call a crunchy edge to it, almost an apple and blackberry pie. Uh, it's strange getting apples in a red wine, but uh, there is this... Uh, quite lifted, perfumed character. Maybe a even even a little bit of pomegranate there. Feels like it's it's not looking at the the, the colour. It doesn't feel like they've squeezed the grapes to get as much out of them as possible. And by doing that, they've allowed a little bit more of the fragrance to uh, uh, to shine through. Well, I, I, I really nice, juicy, almost voluptuous flavours. Plum. Uh, Victoria plum, slightly stewed plum as well, uh, black currant, uh, and then just when you think the, the wine's going to be a little bit too soft, um, then a little bit more of the backbone asserts itself. So tannin, uh, some freshness of acidity. Feels I'm not sure what the alcohol is. Fourteen percent. I'd have put it low. Well, I don't. It, it, there's a warmth and generosity about the flavours, which which says it's not going to be a low alcohol. But this, there's this coolness of the structures. If, if, if there's one. Uh, not fighting with the other, but just restraining it, just saying, calm down, we can work well together, and they do work very nicely together. Really like that, about 10, 11 quid, bonzo. Let's see the next one. Uh, again, 2014, Terrasse de Larzac, uh, Les Crus, 2014. Um, similar alcohol, even slightly less, 13 and a half alcohol. Um, and uh, so main grape here is one called Mourvedre, I think it's a 50 Mourvedre. 50% Mourvedre, 25% each of uh, Syrah and Grenache. Very black currant parsley. There's a bit of reduction here, uh, but not reduction in a way that's um, making the flavours just uh, turn in on themselves. It's, 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 it's giving a freshness, giving an accentuating spiciness in, in the fruit. Um, and uh, yes, a welcome reduction. Syrah takes nicely to reduction. And Mourvedre, uh, sometimes Mourvedre has it and it can almost turn on itself and get a little bit too stinky and meaty but here they seem to have handled it rather nicely uh, well certainly from the aromas it's a warm juicy herby yeah plummy character um, and um, I mean Montvedre is a is a really awkward grape and um, there's something about that that makes that, that uh, has me going yes but dot dot dot, um, and I don't know whether uh, the, 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 I, was, I was getting that flavour of um, the, the, the black currant parcels, the reduction. Um, but I, I'm just wondering whether there's a little touch of Britannomyces in there that's drying out a little bit of the pleasure on the finish. Um, oh, as I say, Morvedra can be a real git uh, if you've ever had old Bondol. Uh, it often has this stinky, meaty character, uh, which. Um, it can be, if, if you like it, it's great. If you don't, you're sort of going, oh. Um, here, I always want to pour that out and drink it tomorrow and uh, and see what's happened to it. I will, uh, in fact, I might do that. I'd, I'd keep an eye on it and uh, and see what see how it develops. At the moment, uh, the Corbière is a simpler wine, but um, offering me currently more pleasure. I wouldn't be surprised if the other one, tomorrow, it's the other way around. But... Um, both of them I, I find fascinating, uh, but as I say, I take the Corbier today. It's a bit cheaper, um, and uh, but I would, well, I might take the Morvedre, the based one tomorrow. But um, we shall see. I will report back. See you soon.